Hi, Kilters! <laughs> it is day three, December 3rd, of the 2017 um, Whiskey Advent Calendar from Master of Malt. Drinks by the Dram. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, we are... Blah, blah, blah. That's, what, that's blah. what it's come to now. Blah, blah, blah. 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 Um, we're going to jump right in. Uh, just want to remind you, if you haven't already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And uh, we're still about 2,000 views away from um, our next uh, level. Um, so after you get done watching this one, go watch a couple other videos that we have on the site. If everybody who watches this video watches two other videos, then we'll have like... 12 videos watched, another couple of views. Yeah. Yeah. And we're, we're hilarious. So, so much funny. So much funny. It is day three, so I'm looking for the little three on the box here. Is it in the way? It is. It's in the way. <laughs> there we go. Sometimes the bottles get in the way, and it makes it difficult. But I have ways around that. Yeah. I have ways of making it talk. Okay. All right. Well, what's it say? What's it Master say? Master of Malt, English Whiskey Company, five-year-old, 2010. Single malt English whiskey. 65.3% by volume. Yeehaw. Oh, wow, that's going to be a strong one, isn't it? Yes, it is. <laughs> Product of England. Would you like me to start pouring? Uh, yeah. Why well, don't go for it? Why not? Open it up. Ah, here we go. English Whiskey Company, five-year-old, 2010 Master of Malt. <coughs> One of four English Whiskey Company single malts, which were added to our single cast series in early 2016! Exclamation point. This is a five-year-old single malt, which was distilled in April of 2010, matured in Olorosa sherry cask, and bottled in February of 2016. We've also presented this one with our awesome glass closures. Uh, that's apparently the, the regular bottle, not the, uh, the tasting bottle that we have right now. Um, oh my. Uh, <clears throat> we have uh, apparently plum pudding and mince pies on the nose. Mince pies, very popular. Is that just an English? Is that just a. I don't know. Ask the camera, not me. Oh. Why, wait, why am I asking the camera? Well, because the camera's who we're talking to. Oh, uh, hey, it's gone on. Yeah. There's a lot of mince pies in these, like the smells and, and flavors. Why is that? Oh, we're, at, we're, we're waiting for people to respond? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's, uh, it's, it's a new form of interactive television. We just have to assume that they gave us the answer. Oh, yeah. it's a good answer. Yeah, great. It's a good, good answer. Idea. All right, that makes sense. All right. I believe it. So. By the time that we get to the end of Oh, was I supposed to be tasting? I didn't taste. I was only smelling. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. So that's, There's that's a lot of alcohol in that. 65.3. Yeah. And imagine. It even smells a little burny. Yeah. Spice grows in the shape of red chili and charred oak. Spice, yeah. Spicy. Would you call it creamy? Because they call it creamy. It becomes it. enjoyably oily in the mid palate. Why? Wait, how? Okay. That sounds weird. Enjoyably oily? Enjoyably oily. I'm trying to think of what other things would be enjoyably oily. Fish and chips, maybe? I don't know. It's been forever since I've had fried fish. <laughs> what? It's 
I that one? Know. Actually, I, the chocolate doesn't do much for it. In my opinion. In my humble opinion, I, I don't know otherwise. It definitely accentuates the spice, though. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Mm. It made it spicier. Uh, do we want to try it with a little bit of water? Yeah. Whew. Ooh, buddy. That was a spicy one. Raisins and sultanas, Along, alongside a touch of white pepper. Not the black pepper, white pepper. White pepper. Actually, is there there is a, a difference? Yes, there. yes, I know. Oh, okay. Ooh, the water makes it much nicer. Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah. More more palatable. Way more palatable. Opens okay. it right up. You can actually taste the flavors as yeah. opposed to just the alcohol. Yeah, exactly. I I, I quite like that. That is much nicer. So, that in this case, nicer. the uh, the water was a definite necessity. It yeah. it, it opened Chocolate, it right up. Not so much. Um, uh, the the final uh, note on this is um, as mentioned above, which I don't, oh yeah, they're right there. Uh, as mentioned above, this would make for an excellent Christmas whiskey. I don't know what makes a Christmas whiskey, but apparently this is what makes a Christmas whiskey. Apparently, uh, burning your palate with spice. I suppose it depends on who's cooking. Oh, yeah, I guess. Yeah. So. Yeah. So not bad. Not bad. A younger... How does this compare to... Because yesterday's was... Uh, it was an eight-year-old. was an eight-year-old. How yeah. does it compare to the eight-year-old? Um, it's, it's a completely different style of whiskey. It's, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I wouldn't drink that except when it was... When it's been uh, dosed with a little bit of water. Mm. Uh, this one would just be, but with water, it's lovely. The sweet comes out, the, the spicy mellows a little bit. <laughs> yeah, so we are, uh, <laughs> we've, we've now finished our tasting. Um, that was day three. Day, day, day three. Uh, that's Why how three they, as opposed to three? That's how they figured it out the um, English spy in the Inglorious Bastards because he did this. And apparently, that's how Germans do it. Uh. Whatever. Uh, so yeah. Um, something new. Yeah, something new. So like, subscribe, all those fun things. Tell your friends about us. Um, uh, and and we are here uh, regular hours for all of your kilting needs. Yeah. Come say hi. Bye. Bye, Kilters.